Yep, Doyle and the Misfits were actually in the World Championship Wrestling. On this side of the ring, at six foot three, weighing 700 pounds, undisputed monster of my rock, Doyle Wolfgang was fucking Frankenstein. Now I bet you want to know what he does to look like a shredded monster. So we're going to cover exactly what Doyle does, both on and off tour, to look like the most shredded metalhead in history. Doyle is an American guitarist best known for horror punk band Misfits and his own band named Doyle. Doyle has created this persona that is visually appealing to both punk and metal fans. His whole persona along with his intimidating height and muscular physique is like a character out of a comic book. He even has his own action figure. Doyle is widely acknowledged as the face of horror rock. According to Heavy Makeup, Doyle says, I'm more of a metal head than a punk. He says that his mom got him started with his musical inspiration. His first main influences are Johnny Ramone, Jimmy Page, Joe Perry, Brian May and Steve Jones. But it was Iron Maiden that influenced him to write songs. Today his influences are Arch Enemy, Slipknot and Lamb of God. He also loves the old classics of Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath and Pantera. Doyle joined the Misfits in 1980 at the age of 16, helping to finance the band by working at their father's shop. Doyle is a machinist and actually made his own guitar including parts fashioned at his father's shop. The bat shape was inspired by his love of Batman. Now it's 6 foot 3 with this intimidating Frankenstein monster makeup, this devil lock hairstyle and a man of few words. You would think he's walking around hacking people to death with his annihilator. But Doyle is actually a really, really, really nice guy. According to the Village Voice, his girlfriend Alyssa, vocalist of Swedish death metal band Arch Enemy, says one of the biggest misconceptions about him is the idea that he's a scary dude. He's super gentle and I think most people are so afraid of him they'll never get to see that side of him. But on stage he'll fucking kill you. Doyle turns from Bruce Banner into the Hulk as soon as that foot sets on the stage. He flips the switch automatically and he becomes very fucking violent. His bandmate Story agrees and says when he puts that stage makeup on, that's like war paint or something. It's like he's going into battle. He literally transforms himself. Story remembers reading about Doyle in magazines as a kid. Like he'll kabong motherfuckers over the head with a guitar and shit. He just seemed like an animal, like a monster. Although he's a man of few words, he's extremely humble and approachable. However, Doyle doesn't like touching people. He says people are dirty, they're filthy animals. Keep the chain you filthy animal. He says he hugs his girlfriend and kids and that's it. So now it's just a fist bump or go fuck yourself. Which kind of makes sense because if anyone passes on germs, he risks getting sick and compromising his bandmates too as well as cancelling shows. Interesting fact, someone once threw a knife at Doyle on stage during a Misfit concert in the 90s. He didn't find out about it until later. Doyle's guitar tech showed it to him. It was about a six inch blade and he said, look at what these motherfuckers threw at you. It hit his cabinet. Doyle told him, if that thing had stuck in my chest, I would have pulled it out and stabbed every fucko in this place. Also, Doyle prefers to keep his real identity hidden. He's always in his stage makeup during interviews, which he believes keeps the mystery and magic of his character alive. Like Maria Brink, who prefers to keep her real life hidden for the same reason. Check out Doyle without his makeup, though. He's pretty hot. <laughs> Doyle has been working out since he was just 10 years old. He says, my dad was a boxer, so he was in pretty good shape and we had weights around. In high school, he played sports like badminton and tiddlywinks and he actually went pro at tiddlywinks. In high school, he played sports and was on the school football team for all four years. His philosophy for working out now is one word, consistency. He's been working out religiously for 47 years straight. He wakes up, has his death wish coffee, his cereal and gets in a workout. He likes to train a different body part every day and work out both heavy and light. He says, I do zero butt exercise. He benches 275 pounds but doesn't think that's heavy. He says he doesn't fuck with heavy weight anymore and he's done with that shit. He trains at around 85% of his max. He says, I don't max out because that's how you get hurt. Don't however says that he's still pretty strong for a human and adds, I don't need to be able to pick up a bus. Not yet, but if I have to, I'll pick it up. And yep, he's natty, no steroids. He travels with adjustable weights on tour. Power Block dumbbells who sponsor him have been instrumental in helping him continue to train while on tour. They send him whatever he needs as far as gym equipment goes and he takes them on the road with him. They supply the bench, the weights and the stand. The weights are adjustable dumbbells that go from 2.5 pounds to 90 pounds. They're the last thing that goes on the bus and the first thing off the bus. He says, we have a pull-up bar but we can never find a door to put it in. So he uses just dumbbells. That's all he really uses. He doesn't even bench press with a bar. He says his girlfriend Alyssa is the only one who works out with him on tour. Doyle likes listening to heavy metal including Sabbath when he trains and his custom guitar strap has the words beast mode inscribed on the left shoulder. How fitting. He says working out also gives you a higher metabolism and the only time he missed working out is if he has business to take care of or if he's hurt. 
Don is anti-drug, alcohol and tobacco. He's also vegan and is proof that you can be an absolute beast and be vegan. He was turned into veganism by girlfriend Alyssa in 2013 and went full vegan in 2014. Don credits his vegan diet for helping him rise above social anxiety and maintain a better outlook on life. He says it makes me happy, it puts you in a good mood and makes you positive. He said it wasn't hard transitioning to veganism. All that he was eating that wasn't vegan were two chicken breasts a day for dinner and whey protein. He says it's very easy when you really want to do something, you can. Joel Gosson once on an interview with Doyle says he eats like a friggin' horse. Doyle literally says, I eat all fucking day. He's not kidding, his schedule is insane and he needs those extra calories along with an intense lifting program so he can look and perform like a monster. Joel says a pile of protein bar wrappers sat by his side during our chat while he was quick to mention that he devoured an entire large package of nut butter cookies the previous night. He also consumes tons of bagels, avocados and oatmeal. His daily food intake includes at least 200 grams of protein. He says I eat whatever I want, I don't have the fat gene in me, you just have to watch what you eat and be consistent. I just do it every day that I can and when I can't do it, I don't do it. And I don't give a fuck if I don't do it for a day, I'll go have a pizza. You can't let it bother you, it has to be part of your life, not a chore. The foods he likes for walking out include seitan, tofu, tempeh, beans, nuts and all kinds of vegetables. He also likes to use a vegan protein powder, takes vitamins and drinks plenty of distilled water. While on tour, he brings protein bars and protein powders. He says that since he became vegan, he's become a lot more leaner than ripped. All he eats is good food, healthy, real stuff. He enjoys cooking with Alyssa but says she's a better cook and he's more of the prep guy and the cleanup guy. Now Nita Strauss, ex-guitarist of Alice Cooper, hooked Doyle up with a food company called Trifecta. They send 21 vegan meals every Friday before the show so he can microwave it. It has protein, low sodium and he says it's completely awesome. Doyle also has his own line of vegan monster protein powder sponsored by a company called Conscious Muscle. He usually has this with water or coffee. It's a nice little pre-workout after 20 ounces of iced coffee in a shaker and put a scoop in there. This protein powder is an all-natural plant blend. 25 grams of protein, 0 grams of sugar, no artificial sweeteners, no soy, no gluten, no dairy and just 145 calories per serving. It comes in a death by chocolate flavor. He's got several of the fittest metal heads approving it like Zach Wilde, Logan Mader, Rob Zombie and Kane Robert. Doll has also freed all the grandmas in the kitchen from making hot sauce by creating his very own vegan made in hell hot sauce. Doll has proven himself to be a multi-dimensional artist, juggling his touring, songwriting, his diet, his fitness and a host of other endeavors. His advice to a young musician is don't sit in your room learning G claps and arpeggios and all that horse shit. Study and learn how to write and arrange great songs and learn how to be a great performer. And fucking work out because this is a fucking seriously physical job. It's not about partying. My partying is a bowl of oatmeal after the show before I go to bed. Although Doyle won't give you a hug, there are two things you can do to make him super happy. Stop stealing fucking music! You can support your favorite artists without downloading their music illegally. It's as bad as asking a fitness trainer for free plans. Not cool. And two, Doyle loves to eat. He says the best fan gifts are food. So if you've got vegan cakes, go ahead and give him some if he's storing 